Hello and welcome back to the Royal Legion SMP series. Uh, what now? In the last ep two episodes, that was um, I was with Spirit and Atel and we built the huge gate over here, which I will show you in a second. Um, okay, who just placed that hit there? Okay, that's random. Um, but okay, that's another skill. Um, yes. I'm going to open it because I got pranked by someone. I don't know who it is because they didn't leave a sign. Okay. 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 It's not quite working because I probably did something. But as you can see, these walls were not yellow last time. So someone has been have been busy here. But um, let's take a look here at why it does not work. And it should some no actually that's me sorry <laughs> I thought someone had broke the circuit but they had not where is my redstone there we go I just need one one will do the trick for now let me just reinstall this eh, there we go re-add this redstone there we go now it can be activated from the inside but yes, this is the huge gate that, um, well, we made in the two last episodes. Let me know if you like when I play with others like that, or if it was too distracting when I was trying to um, teach you redstone stuff. I didn't really teach much, but um, I did what I could. And I hope you enjoyed it. it. Enjoyed it? Enjoyed it anyways. Now I just want to say Major League Memes apparently joined the server, I think it was yesterday or something, which was yesterday I recorded episode 7 and 8. So his channel will be linked in the description below. Now, um, yes, I added... Okay, so we're going to do two different things in this episode. And one of them is showing you this little thing here, because I basically want to have a lock. There we go. Because anyone right now can just open it from the outside. Now, if I flick this lever, that basically powers that redstone. If it's not... Oh, the powers it anyway. Oh, I don't even need that redstone. Alright. Nice. Alright. Okay, so that is apparently not even... Yes, it is. I feel like the pistons are like bugged in 1.13 it might just be me be, be me but anyways with that redstone there that powers the piston this piston is extended which um basically hinders this one from pushing this one back which would disable the door so that is pretty awesome as you can see here it does not move and this thing does not get the piston does not get moved in that direction either so now no one can get in unless I disable the lock. So that's pretty cool. But if you saw in the last episode, yeah, this is a weird thing as well. As you saw probably in the last episode, if you saw it, I died to a till shooty shooty twang twang. I must stop this. I think, I think I'm probably one of the persons on the server with the least amount of armor and the least tools. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to visit Atel's base with her XP farm, get a bunch of XP and then enchant some stuff because I got a bunch of lapis lazuli. Um, I might bring a few books as well. Do I have that on anywhere? Spirit gave me like, gave me like 45 or something. Uh, there we go, 45. Let's check those in there. Um, Oh, I don't know why I'm... Oh, I was going to make gold blocks. Right. There we go. To fit with others. Let's put this one here for now. There we go. And yes, that'll do for now. Do I have diamonds in there? I'm basically going to make a full set of diamond armor. Diamond tools and swords and everything. So that's going to be exciting. I will bring all this lapis lazuli. I'm pretty sure Atel has a... And the chest back at her base and also I will bring the emeralds because I think I might need them. Um, I'll take the string out that and that out and just put it in there for now. 
I might need some more wood with me, so I think I'll chop some trees down because I don't think I have any. No, I don't. I could bring a cage, but I like to have oak wood. Um, oh, disable the lock and open the door, and then close it from the outside. Nice. So let me just chop down an oak tree, which is over there. Let's head to hotel space. We're going to go through the Nether because I have it here for a reason. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now where did we build that bridge? I think it was over here. Behind this. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it actually... <laughs> whoops. It was right... I think it was right behind the portal. Anyways, this will lead directly to Hotel Space. Or to the main Nether Portal hub. Which is our hub for now. Not really a hub, but what works as a hub for now. Um, which leads to a cell space, but yeah. Okay, so we are now here at a cell space. Now, she said that she had a, that she might have a, um, a villager that sells silk touch books, which I'm interested in getting. Depth Rider, not bad. Efficiency three, not really what I was looking for. Well, someone's been buying stuff. <laughs> Ooh, Ocean Explorer map. Ooh, that might be interesting. Anyways, Woodland Explorer map. I definitely need that. I want to find a Woodland Mansion so badly. Um, oh, she has small villages over here. Oh, man. Um, she said she had a Silk Touch pickaxe for like five emeralds, which is why I wanted the emeralds. Sharpness, Silk Touch, yes. Okay, so a book. And five emeralds. Please tell me she has a ender chest. Yes, there. Perfect. She said we could use our um our what's it called? Oh, she said that we could use her um what's it called again? Guardian farm for XP and yeah XP. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. Where's that villager? There he is. Silk touch. This is just so that I can, um, nice, I got that, just so I can put this on a pickaxe so I can carry my ender chest around with me. Alright, nice. So with that out of the way, I kind of need an ender chest though. You know what, I'll just bring everything with me. That, that, the books, the diamonds, the lapis lazuli, because I do believe she has a... Far, not a farm, um, enchantment table over there, so it should be good. Yep. All right. Do I have a boat in there? <laughs> oh dear. Okay, no. Let me just get a boat. Get a boat. And it should be out there somewhere. Yeah, out here somewhere. She's been down there, or someone has been. Oh, a boat. <laughs> okay, I'll use my boat. All right, let's go. A little bit faster than swimming, in my case, in a way. All right, we should be there any moment now. We've already gone through 10 minutes of this video and I will cut some parts out, like killing guardians until I get to level 30, but we should be good. I don't know where Major League Memes says <laughs> base is located at, but, um. I guess we'll find out in the future. All right. Uh, okay. Right on top. There we go. This, I believe, is the entrance. Yes. Okay. Yes, she does indeed have an enchantment table. Food for health regen. Take only what you need. This is apparently her storage for enchanted books. I will not take any of these though. And this is just giving you a quick show around. And this is her storage for what she gets out of the um, farm there. Can I? Yes, there we go. Nice. Okay. Good. So they are starting to come. Give me this book. How to use the. 
how to use the farm. Remove all the armor or it will take damage. Make sure you have food or you won't be able to regenerate on your health. All right. There's lap there's lapis in the floor chest, but feel free. Okay, but I know what it's going to say, but be sure to take some with yourself. We'll use it if necessary. Actually, she wants people to have their own. Um, yeah, feel free to take only fish. To take own, feel free to take only fish or guardian heads from storage. Okay, so none of the other stuff can be taken. Feel free to use any chatted books in the chest. Oh, we can actually use that. Okay, that's really helpful. Thank you, Mattel. So use the farm stand on the hoppers between the jungle and iron trap doors. Make sure the jungle and then use the sweeping edge thing to kill the guardians. Happy chatting. Thank you. All right. And the other chest was down here as well. Okay, I'll just put stuff in here because I might die. Okay. Extra lapis, please don't steal. I won't, don't you worry. Okay. You know what, I don't even care about this armor. It can get destroyed. I don't care. Okay, so you just stand here hitting them. And you get levels pretty quick. There we go. I think that's a plugin that shows you the hearts up there. Oh, I can't take that. So I'm already at a level 11, but I'll stand around here and um, do some killing. And I'll be right back once I have around 30 levels or so. Stay tuned. Wow, it really wants to look at me. <laughs> be right back. Okay, I'm now at level 37, which hopefully should be enough for now just to get some armor done. I won't use the armor in there though, because that will completely destroy it. But these are the things that I do want to enchant today. But let's take a look. So if we start with the sword, 30 levels, fire aspect 2, not sure I want that to be honest. I would rather add that as an extra thing. Also, I took some fish because I ran out. So um, yeah. There we go. Let's use the bow. Unbreaking 3 is actually pretty good. I'll take that. It'll consume 3 of my levels and 3 lapis lazuli. And... Okay, I expected a bit better, but she did say... Feel free to use any of these books, which I will. So I'll enchant stuff and then I'll make it extra powerful by using books. So if we do the chest play now... Thorns 2 is really powerful. I'll take that. Protection 3, Thorns 2, not too bad. Blast protection. I don't really want blast protection. I just want normal protection. Let's see. What was this one that we just tried? Unbreaking. Death Strider, please. I don't want fire protection. Uh, uh. You know what? To be honest, I should probably have gone with books. Let me just make sure. Hold up. How to use... Um, Feel free to use any enchanted books in the chest. Okay. I assume that's going to be chests. <laughs> um, okay, if we take a look here. What does he have? Uh, sweeping edge, impaling. Some of these I don't even know what do. Power 3. This is a pretty good one. To use on like a bow. Frostwalker. I don't really want Frostwalker to be honest. Um, looting 2. Not bad. Okay, I'll take some of these out that I know I want. Let's focus on the sword. And... Yeah, let's focus on the sword. Um, we definitely want sharpness. Um, curse of Binding. Ooh, do not take that. Uh, I don't really want to take the one that's ones that are too OP. Let's see. Sharpness 4. Let's just make sure I can't do this with a sharpness one, which I'm pretty sure I can't. It'll still stay as sharpness three, sharpness three. Okay. So I have to, it has to be a sharpness three book to get it to sharpness four. Question is. Okay, I definitely want that. Okay, no, I cannot do that. That's fine. Um. I do actually want power. How much power can I get? Power 5. Okay, so if I can find another power book. If I can find another power book, that would be pretty cool. Infinity. Do I want infinity or mending? 
Mating is pretty hard to come by. I'd have to buy it off somebody. I'd rather have infinity because I don't want to fill around with arrows. Um, knockback, I like that. I'll take that. Sharpness. Sharpness. Hmm. What did I take here? Knockback. Um. I want to see Aqua Affinity. I do want that on the helmet. Yeah, I do want that on the helmet. Uh, turn them around. Okay, so I do want Aqua Affinity, but I do think I'll save off some all levels and chat them just so I can get like unbreaking and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm now back. I'm back at level 31 and I think I found some, not that, <laughs> I think I found some stuff that I want. Um, I basically, well, I looked these up, respiration and aqua affinity. Respiration allows you to breathe underwater for longer. And I'm pretty sure aqua affinity then was the one that I'm pretty sure it makes you work faster underwater. Now, this is the interesting part. Will aqua affinity work with respiration? I don't know this. So I'll do the sword. I need on breaking on it anyways. Whoa. Okay, so some of these are not villain vanilla enchants. So this is a pretty epic sword right here. If we take a look at it, unbreaking three, not bad. Sharpness three could be a little bit better, but I got books for that. Blindness three is a, basically it's a I think it's a plugin that adds extra enchants, and blindness has a chance to. Um, briefly blind the enemy from attacking. It says it down there in the box. Venom 1 has a chance to poison an enemy. Slowness 2 has a chance to slow down an enemy. And Rejuvi Rejuvenation 2, I think is the one slowly re regains their ability when wearing, which is pretty cool. Which I guess would be kind of like a mending thing, but without XP, I don't know. But let's try and make this even more OP. So we can make this a sharpness four. Now, I want knockback on it as well. So let's do that one. I want looting two on it. <laughs> let's do that one. And I'm pretty sure there's a sharpness three book in here somewhere. Yep, sharpness three, because sharpness three plus sharpness three will equal sharpness four. I don't think you can get sharpness five. Oh, you can. Definitely doing that. And I kind of want mending on these, but I don't have mending. <laughs> so, yeah, that's basically that. Now, I just need to figure out whether or not Aqua Affinity can fit with um, Respiration. So I'll be right back again, and we'll enchant some more armor. Also, I want to get some stuff on the bow. So I'll be right back. All right, I am now back and I think everything is done. I basically went ahead and well, did everything because otherwise it would just take too long. But let's just quickly kill these guardians because they make noise. There we go. And I could use that extra levels, so why not? Okay, so. I have everything in my ender chest. Let me just go and place that back. And here it is. Now, because on the server we have a plugin that adds extra enchantments, and that kind of annoyed me. Take a look at this helmet. It's a pretty good helmet. On breaking three, protection four, and then comes the other three water breathing one. Insulation 3 and Soulbound 1. Now, Insulation 3 and Soulbound 1 are pretty good. Soulbound um, item will stay in inventory after death. And Insulation, I'm pretty sure it's the one with protects from electricity and plasma. Now, the Water Breathing applies Water Breathing Potion effect. And if you take a look at this, now no bubbles, actually it does. The bubbles do appear, and also this icon appears right here, and also I get the buff right there. And I do not want that in uh, my 
I will save it because I can use it for like diving and stuff. It does work and you do not have to think about um, breathing at all. So that's really good to have like in an ender chest just in case and also for raiding ocean monuments. But it's not something that I would want to have on all the time. So, and I actually made two of them. Um, well, because I wanted to enchant it with the enchantment table, but I just always got that water breathing. So I got tired of that and made my own, basically just using books. So this one has Unbreaking 3, Respiration 3, which enables me to um, hold my breath longer underwater, Protection 4, and Aqua Affinity, which allows me to work faster underwater. Yeah. Then we have the boots with Feather Falling 4, Unbreaking 3, Depth Rider 3, and Fire Protection 3. Not too bad. Um, I think I will be able to um, override the Fire Protection, but for now it's it's fine. I just want the Depth Strider and Feather Falling. It's fine. Then we've got the Leggings, Unbreaking 3, Fire Protection 4, Life 1. Um, adds extra health whilst wearing, and if I do wear it, you will see that an extra heart appears, which is pretty awesome. So that's a good one. Um, and also soulbound one item will stay in inventory after death. And then we got the chest plate, which just has unbreaking three thorns to and protection four. I'm perfectly fine with that. It's a pretty good chest plate. Then we have the bow, unbreaking three, power five, infinity, flame and punch. This is a really powerful bow. I really like this one. Um, yeah, you. as far as I know, you can't have infinity together with mending. My intention is to get mending on all of this, but I don't have it just any mending books just yet. So I have infinity on here. I might add mending instead of infinity at some point, but that's just what I have for now. Then we have the sword, which is probably the most OP thing on me right now. So we got Unbreaking 3, Sharpness 5, Knockback 2, Looting 2, I think that could be eluding three, but you know what? I think two is fine for now. Sweeping edge three, blindness three um, has a chance to, or can briefly blind enemy when attacking. Venom one has a chance to poison an enemy. Rejuvenation two, I guess it's the slowly regains durability when wearing. So it gets kind of like a mending thing. I'm not sure. And then we got the slowness too, which has a chance to slow down an enemy. And also, um, when we were checking out the space, she allowed me to take any like fishing rods or bows from that chest thing. I'll show you when we get over there because I want to uh, get over there and end the episode there. Um, but yeah, I combined two fishing rods and I then got a Unbreaking 3 with Mending, Lock of the Sea 3 and Lure 3. And I will be getting a AFK fishing farm pretty soon um, once I get some more building done in the base. So that'll be really helpful with that. Then I wanted to make two pickaxes. But here is the other thing. When using enchantment table, you might get something that you don't want. And I got two times I got... Silk Touch. So Silk Touch and Unbreaking Breaking 3, I'm pretty sure I make that one, made that one myself. And then I got this one, which is pretty annoying because it's the same. But I can just, when this is almost um, gone, like broken, I can just apply this one to this one and it will get Efficiency 4, um, Fortune 3 and Unbreaking 3, of course. So not too bad. In the future, I will make better things like with mending. I'll probably uh, make a total, a completely new armor set, to be honest. But for right now, for my needs, this is going to work for me just fine. Um, in the future, I will also, of course, hopefully, get an elytra that will be able to get mending and stuff as well, as well as for the shield. But for now, this is pretty good. I'm going to wear it because I made it for a reason and I made it for it to be used. So here we go, hard work. There we go, nice. And well, time to head home. Um, leave those there for now. And let's go. Yeah. Wow, I swim so much faster now with that, um, with the, what's it called? Depth Stride, I think it is. But yes, the reason why I'm not going to do slash home is because Atel 
told me to when I get online to record. Now, of course, he did not know that I was at a guardian farm, so nothing was here waiting for me. Um, but I guess it's at my base somewhere. So I'll end this episode here and then I'll start the next episode going over to my base through the nether. So, yeah. All right. Almost there. <laughs> As you can see, the respiration, I'm pretty sure it's called. Does its work? Actually, you can't see right now because of the conduit she has going on over here. But, um, yeah, it's it's pretty cool. Also, the bow and the sword is pretty cool. I'll have to name these. I'll take any name suggestions. If you got any suggestions for the sword and the bow. And don't just copy its old names because... I don't want my boat to be called Shooty Shooty Twang Twang. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'll end my episode here. I won't be killing anything because there are no mobs to spawn here. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. This clip right here, like from where I started in the enchantment room, is actually the next day in real life. But um, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment and share with your friends. And if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe. Anyways, hope you enjoyed and have a nice day. Bye. -bye. Alright. Hello. Hi there. Hi. Hello. Popped out of a hole in the ground. What are you doing? <laughs> well, I'm here because, well, I'm here on a little business trip, if you will. Is it about this potato? Um, no, unfortunately not. <laughs> um, You've been sassing me all day. <laughs> um, I need to ask you something. Yes. And you cannot let anyone know that I asked you this, okay? Okay. Do you know where Godly Desires or aka Laura's base is on the server? Ye. Can you show me? Ye. <laughs> all right, let's head over there then. <laughs> I might need this. Yeah, good, good idea. Okay, so now we're here. Yes, no. Okay, yeah, so yeah. where is it? You see that big floaty thing right there? Yeah? Yeah, that's it. Is that her base? That is her base. Do you have any screenshots of her being in the base or in chat saying she's in the base or any video where you captured that Let's... she's in the base or... She has a sign. I don't have any sign or like thing in it, but there's a bunch of stuff in here. And she has a tunnel, and also I remember her saying she's making a sky base. Okay, that's pretty good evidence, I gotta say. Also, this, this potato be evidence. Um, no, it wasn't there from the start, unfortunately. Okay. <laughs> um, yes, this is her base. Also, I watched, I, I watched her build some of it. Okay, pretty cool. I trust you. Though I gotta I'm say, with... I gotta say this right here. Um... As you know, this is a little business trip for me. And again, mm -hmm. you can't let anyone know that I'm doing this. Um, I'm just going to say that I don't want to do it, but I have to say that if this information is wrong, if I find out it's wrong in any way, I might have to come and make a consequence. <laughs> There's a reason I brought this shield. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do it. And I'm not saying I'm going to, only if the information is not true or not. Well, it's true from what I remember. Trust me, it is. Then we have nothing to worry about then. Thank you very much for the Goodbye. cooperation. Remember? Come after me, I'll come after you. Yeah, that shouldn't be necessary. And again, I don't want to do it because you have way too much <laughs> stuff. <laughs> this stuff is not <laughs> as powerful. So I don't want to go down that um, path. But I trust you. So, um, thank you very much for the cooperation. Neat. And, um, yeah, remember, let no one know that we have been having this conversation. Oh, of course. Of course. All right. I trust you. Thank you very much you for the... Um, sure. It's been sassing me all day. Oh, I'll, I'll find a lava hole or something. But anyways, thank you for your cooperation, and, um, Neat. I'll be taking my leave. Okay, all right. going into... Bye. Okay, now I'm at Spirit's base. Spirit, you in here? Spirit, you in here? Oh, hi. Hello. Hi. 
Hi. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Nice. Thanks for asking. I need to ask you a favor or a question. Yeah, what is it? Do you know where Godly Desires or Laura Space is located? Uh, just that direction. Can you show me? Yeah. Alright, show me. There it is, right there. Is that her base? The big wooden structure looking thing. Okay, pretty good. Do you have any images or video clips of her being in the base or in chat saying that she's in that base specifically? I mean, she did it in a live stream video not too long ago and... Okay, that's pretty, that's pretty concrete evidence. Now I must tell you... I must tell you that you cannot let anyone know that we have had this discussion. Anyone. Okay. Why exactly? Basically, let's put it like this. I'm on a little business trip, if you will. And basically, you can't allow anyone to know that we have had this little discussion. Okay, then. All right. It's not suspicious at all. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. Okay, just don't tell anyone and everything should be good. And don't okay. let me find out that you have told someone about this because I might need to make a consequence for that. I don't want to, but I might have to. Don't worry, I won't as long as you don't do it. Just don't let anyone know that we've had this little discussion and everything should be good. Deal? I'm a little curious as to what you're planning, but okay, I'll just... Don't worry, go... Ignore this entire... Alright, perfect. You'll know soon enough. Perfect. Alright, thank you very much for um, the cooperation. And... Yeah. Well, she actually already knows what this is about because I already talked with her. But, um, yeah. <laughs> tell me, 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 tell me. She knows nothing more than you do right now. She did the exact same. Please, 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 please. Well, as long as you two don't say anything, everything will be good. I don't even know what's going on. All you did was say, like, where is her base? It's like, right over there. And... That's, that's, that's exactly what he did with me. Yeah, that's all you need to know. Thank you for your cooperation. And, um, I'll be taking my leave. Thank you very much.